Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. This is for anybody that's written a book, a nonfiction book, and wants to take it to the next level. It's great having a book. Maybe it's been printed. Maybe it's copies on demand. Either way, doesn't matter. Do you have an audio version of that book? And you can do it. Like, literally, you can take care of that. I don't want to hear any excuses. My voice doesn't sound good. Yes, it does. And we've, we've proven that many times before, that regular people, regular authors can record their own books with this guy's help. He's a coach. It's your book, your audio. Robert Lane from Robert Lane Coaching is back with us. Hey, Robert, how you doing? Good, Steve. How you doing? Very well. Walk us through that. And today, by the way, we're going to talk about marketing your book but let's yeah. go through the process real quick if somebody isn't familiar or maybe missed some previous podcasts about the recording of your book and how you do that for people help them with that sure um basically what i do as an audiobook coach and producer is i have a program that's called your book your voice this is a six-week program where if you're a published nonfiction author and you want to turn your book into an audiobook which you really should because it's a, it's a great format you want to add that format to your arsenal of ebook and paperback and hardcover maybe you have one or all three so the whole point of doing this is that you are narrating your book in your own voice and the reason why is that you wrote it you lived it, you experienced it, it's your story, and only you can tell your story in the way that you uh, want it to be heard, in the way it's meant to be heard. Having another narrator uh, may have it sound professional, but they're missing out on your unique personality and your unique style. So what we do in the program is, uh, it's basically divided up into three pillars, I call it. The first is setup and preparation, where I teach you how to set up your recording space. I provide you with the equipment that you need to set up your recording space, which is yours to keep. The next phase is teaching you the fine art of voiceover and narration, how to do a compelling narration, how to keep your listener engaged and to be consistent from opening credits to closing credits. And then the next phase or pillar is uh, getting it published, where we publish the book on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books for you. And uh, what happens is that when you record your audiobook, you send the files to me. I do all the editing for you, make sure it sounds great there to the uh, correct specifications for publication. Then we get you published. And part of the course, of course, is talking about marketing strategies and things that you can do to promote your audiobook when it's published and so by the end of the six week program you're a published audiobook author it's amazing I, and i totally forgot the ebook version so that's another platform yes. but the audio version is so important especially nowadays if you look at how many people are on the go and the the rise i don't have the stats with me today i remember we talked about them uh previously of how many people actually listen to books that's where it's being done right yeah, absolutely. We're talking about, oh, at least 83% of the population listens to audiobooks. It's a, it's a business or industry or, you know, one of the, the aspects of that is growing uh, roughly about 26 to 27% per year in regards to sales. Audiobooks have actually surpassed ebook sales uh, because people are really... Uh, interested in not only hearing the author narrate their own book, but you know, it gives you options to listen to your car, to listen while you're on a run or at the gym. You know, there's, there's uh, multiple ways you can utilize that audiobook and listen to it on your time. Uh, and a lot of people are also still buying the ebook or paperback or hardcover and the audiobook because they like to read along and listen mm. to the author as they read along. So it's a great way to, to really get yourself out there. I maybe it's my personal preference, but I've listened to both and I so much more enjoy listening to the author read their mm -hmm. book. There's just some kind of magic there. And I, some of my favorite books is, a, and these are nonfiction, as I think back, um, I can hear their voices in my mind and some of the things that they've said, like key phrases. Uh, one in particular was a, a guy who, um, offers sales tools. 
how to be a great seller. I'm not a salesperson. I kind of loathe it, but I love the book because, and that's really a series of books because it gave me some insight and kind of got me more motivated because it's a part of what I do in terms of um, marketing. I have a marketing company broadcast, all of that. Um, but I hear his voice and I can't imagine that same book with, with a, you know, announcer reading it. It just would not be the same. It just wouldn't. It won't translate because what's really important is that the author wrote this book and it's in uh, their unique style in written form. And we hear it, you know, even if, if while we're reading, we imagine a voice in our head <laughs> while we're reading. And so it just only makes sense to have the author do their own narration because now they're taking their personality that's in written word form and they're bringing it to the ears, to audible form so that you can hear the author express the way that they're expressing in their book. And so there's no question as to what you're hearing in your mind, uh, you know, what you're imagining a voice to now hearing the actual author with their own voice telling their story. And like you said, you know, uh, the, the book about sales, uh, whether you're an educator or a teacher, uh, that author is teaching this concept in their unique style. Mm -hmm. And that's what draws their readers and their followers and their listeners to them uh, because it's it's their personality you know it's just like again uh, and we've talked about this before whether you're a weight loss coach or a, a career coach relationship coach uh, or an educator um, it's your unique style of how you teach your concept or your product or your brand that's what draws uh, your clients to you and that's so important because that's what makes you unique you use the word teach Robert, and I just got a visual. So if you went to a class and a lot of the books we're talking about do teach, yeah, you know, if you went to a class and you had a teacher, you would net that teacher would never bring in somebody else. Okay. All right. I'm going to sit back here and now you can, you can use my words and, and present the lesson. It would never happen. It would be the teacher teaching the students, which is happening or what happens in an audio book. So let's just say, Let's press fast forward. Okay. We've we've recorded our audio book. Mm -hmm. You've taken the tracks. And by the way, that's the best part of all of this. You get instruction on how you get the equipment. You get the instruction. Robert takes care of all the editing. He makes yep. you sound great. He submits it. You don't have to do anything except talk. Read. <laughs> you have to read your book. He does the rest. We're at that point right now where we want to market the book even further. What do we do? What can you offer in suggestions? Right. So what I do in the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program, the first thing that we do talk about, and, and we do this at the beginning, is I want the author to think back to what is the core reason? What was your why? Why did you write this book? Mm -hmm. What is it about your story that you needed to express for the world to read. Or again, if you're a coach or you're a poet or, or you're an educator, what is it that you're bringing to the table that, that the world needs to hear? What are you doing to help people? What is that motivation? Again, getting to that core why, that feeling that you had that inspired you to write the book. That's what you need to tap into when you do your narration. You need to have an uh, on that same level. You need to be in the, in the right mindset to do a great narration and have that same energy that you had when you wrote your book. So that's, that's number one. The second thing that we talk about is, is what is your marketing plan? Have uh, some sort of guideline or goal that you're trying to reach. You need to have that in place before you start your narration. It's similar to what you did when you published your book. Like, what was your marketing strategy when you published your book? Same thing. You need to have uh, your goals set. What is it that you want to do? Uh, mm -hmm. Have that planned out, or at least an idea to have that planned out. So once you have that, then that'll help you figure out, okay, do I want to be exclusive in regards to distribution on Audible, Amazon, and Amazon, and, uh, uh, Apple Books. Do I want to be exclusive? You have a choice when you uh, do your publication. So uh, you can be exclusive or you could be non-exclusive. And that is still comes back to what is your marketing plan? If you've marketed your 
uh, written book uh, to a bunch of distributors and it worked for you, then great. Be non-exclusive. Get out there and get your book published. But for a lot of authors, just being on Audible, Apple Books, and on Amazon has been a great uh, distribution uh, for them that they don't need to be everywhere. Because sometimes if, if you're on you know, 10, 15 different distribution platforms, it's almost overwhelming. Mm. In a sense, like narrow casting where people can get your book can actually boost book sales, can actually boost audiobook sales because you're you're being very specific, and and it makes it a lot easier for the uh, for your listeners and your readers and followers to find uh, to find your book in a simple, easy fashion. So that's something to consider as well. Now. Mm. I, I'm just curious about the, the the process. So let's say you've created a book, you wrote it, you may, you've done the audio, and it's available, in, let's say, on Audible, Amazon, maybe it's not exclusive. How do people find you? Would this be somebody looking for, you know, let's, you know, I want to learn about widgets. So they're going to go online, um, maybe on Amazon, book about widgets. Is it that? as that simple to find a book about widgets? Well, as an author, and again, this is the, uh, similar to what you, uh, the author would do to promote their book in written form, same thing with an audiobook. When you plan out your marketing strategy, um, there's simple things that you can do, right? There are things that you can do that that's not gonna cost you a fortune. Uh, first one, which is the most logical thing, is you have uh, social media. Leverage your social media, whether you're on Instagram or LinkedIn or Facebook or YouTube, TikTok, wherever you are, whatever is the best platform that you're getting yourself as a published author out there that's been you know, the most beneficial for you, hit that up and take your followers on your journey. Don't wait until, you know, uh, okay, my book is published. Here it is. Take them through the journey. Let them experience the process of you uh, creating this great audiobook. Maybe put uh, snippets of what you've recorded, or maybe you could even do a, a video of reading a, a section of a chapter, mm. something that keeps your uh, followers engaged in the process. You know, bands do this all the time, right? They're, they're making a new album. So they want to take their fans along the journey and give them the behind the scenes of what it takes to you know, make this great album. It's, it's similar with the audiobook. You can get your followers uh, excited again about your book that you published. It's like, man, this is going to be an audiobook form. Let me take you on this journey. That's one way to really get uh, your followers and readers engaged and wanting to buy your audiobook when you launch it. The other thing is planning uh, a launch date. And you, now you can promote the fact that my book is going to be available on such and such date. And you can put together a launch team. You could get, you know, friends and family and whoever, you know, maybe your, your followers and readers to be part of your launch team and, and have them help you promote the book when it gets published. And in doing so, you can offer them a free copy. You can uh, also maybe combine specials or, uh, you know, here's, here's my ebook. And if you buy my ebook, you'll get my audiobook for free. Or if you buy my audiobook, you can get my ebook for free. Or if mm -hmm. you, you know, buy my audiobook, I'll, I'll give you a signed paperback copy. There's so many ways that you can promote the fact that your audiobook is coming out. And those are all just little things that you can put together as part of your marketing strategy. And it's simple and it's not going to cost you a ton of money. Now, of course, there's things like, you know, you can do paid advertising, which is fine. If that works for you, that's great. There are other uh, places that you can advertise, uh, you know, even in places like BookBub or Bargain Booksy, maybe you use those when you promoted your uh, your book when it was published, written word media. There, there's a whole bunch of places that you can uh, maybe do some paid advertising or at least get the word out. Uh, another thing that you can do would be um, blogs. Let's say, for example, you're looking for uh, a book about widgets. Well, let's do a search. Let's find out maybe there's there's somebody who, who does a blog about widgets, who does uh, a podcast about that topic. 
seek them out and get booked on those shows. You can do that. That's how you get the word out. And, uh, you know, uh, you can do, um, as I said, promotions are really key. Promoting and combining promotions when your book is going to be uh, published, when your audiobook is going to be published. So that, that's another aspect. So these things are simple, uh, that are cost effective, that aren't going to break the bank, that you can do. And so just mapping it out is key. Mm. Having a plan is key. And those little, I don't want to call them little, but they're different approaches that you can take that don't cost anything. For example, yeah. you wrote a book about widgets and of course you, you know, you, your book is going to be seen worldwide if it's on Amazon, et cetera, but bring it back to the local. Yeah. And let's say first thing pops in my head, I don't know, you're an architect and you love widgets. You wrote a book about widgets. Well, put out some press releases, you know, look at other press releases and learn how to write them. It's super simple. And yeah. you could, Put that out to all different types of media, depending on where you live. And it could be, you know, local architect writes book about widgets, something, something to that effect. There's local websites in my area. Um, and it's actually called, you know, if I lived in, uh, you know, Skink, Wisconsin, it's greaterskink.com. And they're always doing local stuff. There's a local store that just opened and they will put something on there. And it's just one more layer of credibility and visibility that you can get. And the more you stack this stuff up, it just adds to who you are. Um, and again, it's it's simple to do. And even the paid thing on the social side, depending on what you're targeting, you could possibly on social media, find people who have affinity for widgets and then serve up your ad there. Uh, of course, you have to have a Facebook page, Instagram page. Again, simple to create. Uh, but there's so many different things that you can do but you're 100% right, Robert, got to have a plan. You got to think about it. Got to think. Yeah, you got to have a plan. Uh, and, and that's another good point about uh, hitting it up local as well. There are libraries, maybe uh, book yes. clubs. There are you know organizations that maybe you can uh, use your audiobook as leverage to book a speaking engagement. I have uh, clients who've done that. Um, you know, in the book that I'm working on right now, it's an awesome book. You know, this this woman who who beat cancer, and she's and she's booking speaking engagements at hospitals, and she's selling her books. You know, mm. there as well, and and she's super excited. You know, we're almost done with her audiobooks, so and she's super excited about getting that out there, so that people can listen to her story, and it's a fantastic story. So again, that that's another uh, avenue. And, and one more thing too is is if you have a website or or a landing page, a place where someone can go to, where you can collect the email addresses and then put them on your email list, and then keep them uh, involved with the process of creating your audiobook and then publishing your audiobook. Uh, you know that's a great way to get the word out as well. A lot of a lot of simple things that you can do, uh, but again, you have to have a plan because. Yes, there's a million things you need that you can do, but you got to be methodical about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It just gets crazy and overwhelming. <laughs> you just gave me another idea, and I forgot about this one. I have a friend who is a teacher, but her number one thing, she's a librarian, and she wrote two children's books. So what does she do? She reads the books for the kids. Summertime now, she's reading them at summer camp. What happens? She also hands out um, you know, uh, some literature pamphlet, whatever it is, they take it home to mom and dad. And the child said, I love this book. It's really great. And guess what? They order it. <laughs> so it's another way to do it. You know, another way to work. It doesn't matter that she's a librarian. She just knows that you can do that. That's why I'm sharing that. Um, and another thought, again, we keep, we're keeping it local, but the local grows. Yes. Festivals. Yes. There's so many of them, especially in the fall, where you can get table space for a nominal amount of money, um, get a you know stand up banner in back of you, have copies of your book, and the author is there. 
it's a big deal. And you sell books, especially if it's a book, you know, that, that somebody could buy as a gift, maybe around the holidays or the fall leading into the holidays. There's so many, once you start thinking about it, like we're talking now, I'm, I'm coming up with more ideas and reminders and things. Right. Festivals are great. You know, having a, a table out where you can sell your book, you know, sign book and have a bookmark. You know, create a bookmark Ooh. for your book, put a QR code on it that that uh, if someone scans that that QR code, it goes directly to purchasing their audiobook. You want the audiobook form of this here, scan this code. There it is. Love you it. know, and again, um, you know, com you can even maybe make an offer out of it or a special or a discount. Uh, or again, if they're getting your a signed copy of your book, that's that's really cool too <laughs> to do but yeah that, that's just another way for people to say hey you know what you can listen to my book i have an audiobook here scan this code and you can get it right here on audible or apple books or amazon and by the way for anybody that um says qr code how am i going to do that just google it create a free qr code yeah. it's there and uh there's a number of sites where if you just sign up for the site it's an email address your name you can download the qr code Steve, how do you know that? I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for some clients. Super simple. All you got to do is put in the URL that you want the QR code to go to, and you're good. That's it. And what great yeah. idea with the bookmark. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many times I'll take an envelope and throw it in, you know, to, to, <laughs> to mark where I am. And then it's an envelope that I wrote stuff on that I needed as a reminder. I just did it today. I'm not even kidding. And I'm like, where's that envelope? It was inside the book. So yeah, a bookmark. Um, very helpful, very useful. And uh, absolutely easy to easy to print. It's uh you don't need a lot of them to start out either. So it's a you know nominal cost. Um, got about a minute left in terms of marketing ideas. Anything else that we didn't hit that come top of mind? Um, geez, there's, there's, there's just so many things. I think we hit a, on, on a lot of we did, topics. Yeah. I just think really the bottom line is, first of all, before you even start, get back to your why. What is my why? Why did I write my book in the first place? Why did, you know... I need, you know, that excitement and that energy that, that you had when you wrote the book, bring that to your audiobook. That's number one. Secondly, have a plan. Have a marketing plan that you can sketch out and say, this is, these are the things that I'm going to do to promote my audiobook up, you know, through creating it to launching it. And don't let it stop there because a lot of authors, they do this great big promotion. And then what, what do I do now? Keep promoting your book. Still have a marketing plan. Sketch it out six months from now, a year from now. These are the things that I'm going to do. And you can you know, change it as you go along, but always have a plan. Mm. All right. Back to the audio portion of the book. If we want to sign up for that or even just to talk with you, I know you've said it before and it's fantastic. You don't charge anything for a consult just to no. discuss it with somebody and let them learn a little bit more about it. Um, where does it go from there? Yeah, all you need to do, just go to my website, robertlanecoaching.com, and there's information about the program, how it works. Uh, there's even a, a link to download a free uh, PDF of uh, audiobook narration uh, uh, techniques. Uh, so that's free. You can download that. Um, but book a call. You can just schedule a call with me. We'll talk. We'll talk about your book, what it's about, what your goals are. I'll give you details about the audiobook coaching program and you will work with me one on one and I will be with you every step of the way. And by the end of the six weeks, you'll be a published audiobook author on Audible, Amazon and Apple Books. All you have to do is go to the website. Step one. Step yep. two, read the website and your book. There's nothing else you need to do. And the equipment you get that yep. is handpicked by Robert. It's yours to keep. So, hey, guess what? Next time you write a book, the next book, you can do the same exact thing. Different cost because you've already gone through the program. Sure. Um, fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> just book a call. Book a call with me and let's let's get that audiobook out there. And just a, a, a final thought here. How can you do this? Because you've done this. You've yes. written your own book. Not about this. This was a more of a coaching book that you wrote. Again, 
uh, nonfiction and you did the audio per portion of it. You've got decades of experience in yes. audio engineering and uh, production um, and that's your passion. So you kind of pivoted over here to help people yeah. do the same exact thing. Absolutely. Wow. Robert, always great having you on. Love what you do. It's so unique. And what a niche, you know, for people. I wouldn't even know. Somebody said to me, what do I do? I, I, have, I wrote a book and I want to you know, do the audio. I wouldn't even know what to say until I met you. You're the guy, <laughs> without a doubt. Uh, thanks for help. being here. Yeah, Thank appreciate you so you being much, here. Steve. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.